a really short video just to I'm just gonna have a look at the um, boat now it's all painted most of it well so we're just gonna have a look a reconnoiter at the uh, I'd say it's 80% it's 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 done really it just needs to be touched up I suppose so let's have a look at the uh, paint job so <coughs> these stickers we got these from um, Funky Monkey I think it was the name of the company and then um, Peter got them and he <coughs> he's done lots of printing with um, with CMYK so he knows a little bit about um, what uh, providing proof copy is all about and um, we sent them uh, we sent them this colour here, which is a cream. It's a fairly standard uh, colour. You can pick it up. Um, it's not just available from us. It's actually a, it's a fairly standard colour. This is like royal. I think this is um, midnight blue. They call that. And uh, that one, I don't know what I can't remember what that one's called. But anyway, we sent them the colours, which was this one and the and the blue. Which the blue they've got right. But this this um, cream was supposed to be that that snotty kind of colour there, um, which they've obviously completely. It's it's nothing like well. It's much too yellow, isn't it? It's got much too yellow. It's much too much yellow in it, and uh, it looks a bit like a like a, a snotty bogey. So um, not massively impressed with that. I mean, it didn't make that much of a difference when the boat wasn't finished but now it's finished it just it does look like a big bogey on the side really so not really too happy about that um so we've got the solar panels which are doing their job slight amount of sunshine um so we've painted all the contours on it and it's come up quite well um so i'm, I'm pretty happy about that and uh, we've got the little effects the mushroom kind of effects the little panels down the side and uh, paint the uh, paint these it's come up all right I had to scrub all this uh, residue off where the there's all residue so I had to go and yesterday I had to clean that all off um, which took a couple of hours um, so that's the cabin I guess look <clears throat> looking quite a good finish I suppose I think I'm quite happy with it really um, all in all it probably took I don't know maybe I don't know it's difficult to say really in times of because it it's been dribs and drabs really so it's difficult but if you were to set out from day one um, and you wanted to do it properly I'd say probably because it takes time to cure as well hard enough so if you're going to do masking and these all had to be masked from um, from new so they weren't they had to be masked and um, that that means that the tape can tear off the um, the paint so um, I don't know Probably um, about a month, maybe, maybe about a month to do it. Sort of, um, maybe you do six hours a day for a month. That means you've got to strip it all off, um, sand it down, uh, undercoat the paint parts that needs undercoat, prime the bits that need priming, and. Once that's done, you've got to sand it down again. Sand that to a, um, a much smoother finish. And uh, that takes quite a long time. So you might be talking three days just to do that, really, for the cabin. I guess it took about three days. Because you, it's, yeah, it's, that's a, and then you can put your first top coat on and if that goes all right 
maybe you can um, leave it a day and it'll dry or, or less depending on how you like to do it um, and then you have to go and check it again see if there's any blemishes on it or if there's any parts that you missed doing the uh, initial undercoat sanding which is quite easy to do so you have another look at it and then if there's any bits that need sanding you have to go and sand them down so that's a perhaps another it doesn't take like might it might be all right so you might get away with it but um so you can put once you put start putting the top coat on it's, it's it gets much easier really top coat laying off which you have to do if, if you're doing the top coat and laying off then um yeah the um you have to do it all in one go there's no point you can't do half a job if you're doing the cabin side you have to do the whole cabin side uh, you can't stop so there's no stopping you have to just go right the way along same with the roof and the other cabin side do them all at once or or else it's just gonna you can't do it in dribs and drabs it has to be done in all in one go and so that takes um doesn't take long actually maybe a couple of hours to to do a strip <coughs> the roof takes longer because it's bigger um but maybe it takes the actual painting of the boat it's it's not it's the preparation it's the preparation you, you having to continuously sort of um analyze it all the time it's just a real it's it's pretty laborious you know just, and uh you may think something's finished and looking all right and then you realize that it, it doesn't it looks shit and you have to go back and do it and you have to keep on doing it till it looks all right so um the reason this looks any good now is because i've spent a very very long time doing it and um when we came out of the shed it sure as hell didn't look like this so um yeah happy with that now looks looks nice so um that's it a little update